Hello again. This is just another variety of LPs I've picked up in the past, past few months. The first is Dave Mason's first solo album from about 1970. Um, Dave Mason was one of the members of Traffic, one of the founding members of Traffic with Steve Winwood and Jim Capaldi and, and uh, who's the other fellow, Chris, <laughs> Chris somebody. And uh, this album, when it was first released it came out on this blotched vinyl and it looks, um, some of these, they're all a little bit different, all the ones I've seen, and this is about the third or fourth one I've seen, and uh, they're all different shades and different colors, and some of them look like, uh, look like pizzas, and some of them look like barf or something, <laughs> but it's, I'm sorry to say that, it's tasteless, but, uh, and this album also folds out, you can hang it on the wall or something like this. I've also seen this in black, just a standard black vinyl, but uh, but these, this is one of the original ones. It's a very, very good album, and uh, he went on and had a few hits in the 1970s on the Columbia label. This is on Blue Thumb. Elvis's Golden Records, everyone knows this one. It's electronically re reprocessed, but it is a really good collection. Next is Jan Ackerman, Tabernacle. Now, Jan Ackerman was the lead guitarist of the band Focus. You might remember Hocus Pocus back in the early 70s. And the band Focus, Dutch band, kind of prog, great band. And Ackerman was a fantastic guitar player. This is Matthew Fisher, I'll Be There. Now, Matthew Fisher is famous for being the organist for Procol Harum on Whiter Shade of Pale, and he was on their first two or three albums as their organist. It's a solo album. Nazareth, Close Enough for Rock and Roll. I'm not a huge Nazareth fan, but this album is very good. Poco Live. Now Poco were very much like the Eagles, country rock, early 70s. I preferred them to the Eagles. I thought they just had more edge. The uh, This album was released in 1974 and it was uh, on Columbia or Epic Records. And I think they'd already left for ABC Records at the time. Shauna Na from the Streets of New York. This is from 1973. I love the cover on this. Shauna Na were such a great, uh, they did such a great job of covering the oldies graffiti type music. Bee Gees Best on the Carousel label, double LP. This is early Bee Gees material from around 1966-67 and this is an Australian copy. So it does have a lot of the early hits like New York Mining Disaster, World, Words, Massachusetts, In, the, in around 1969, Robin Gibb left the Bee Gees, and he recorded a solo album. It didn't have that much success. This is his solo album. Which left Barry and Maurice to record an album called Cucumber Castle. They recorded this album without Robin Gibb. I don't think there are any hits on this album either. It's fairly rare. The Beach Boys, Still Cruisin'. I think this is the last vinyl album that they released in the 1980s. It contains Kokomo, which was from the movie Cocktail. And there are a lot of songs on here that were, that were used in movies like Good Morning Vietnam and things like that, like I Get Around, Wouldn't It Be Nice from the Big Chill. This album, except for the old songs from the 60s that it contains, this album is it's horrendous. <laughs> it's not very good. Sagittarius, present tense. This is a very classic uh, sunshine pop album from the late 60s in California, produced by Gary Usher. And it features the song My World Fell Down, which appears on the Nuggets album in the Nuggets box set. 
Glenn Campbell is on this, and I think he did the vocals in My World Fell Down. The Shadows of Night, Gloria. This is the Shadows of Night's first album. Gloria was their hit, the cover of um, Van Morrison and Them's version of Gloria. And this is a reissue on Sundays. Chicago Band. It's uh, very much Rolling Stones kind of stuff. Good garage punk rock. Thanks for watching.